To start GUM Workbench, you double click on the desktop icon. You open a, a file and then you type in the data you have. First, you have some documentary title and description. A model location is the key element where you specify your evaluation. Yes, it supports a list of quantities with units and definitions. After that, you fill in the quantity data for the different quantities, for the result, for the standard. You specify the type, in this case type B. You specify the distributions, you have a list of distributions. Usually this standard comes with the normal distribution. Then you specify the value and the expanded uncertainty and the coverage factor and this data will be dependent on the distribution you have uh, chosen. Another uh, distribution is the rectangular distribution that you see there's a different value fields that you can fill in. Every quantity has a field for description where you can put in additional text that will be shown in the report. Then you have to specify some quantities uh, which are observed from the type A, you select here type A, give you a method of observation, the number of observations and the way you calculate the uncertainty, standard uncertainty. This goes for all the quantities. Once you put in your quantities, you go to the next page. Here is the observed data. You can put the observations. This is the readouts from the instrument. And you will calculate some arithmetic mean, the experimental standard deviation and the standard uncertainty. Once you have done that, you go to the correlation page where you can fill in correlation. Uh, but in this case, the all quantities are uncorrelated. Finally, go to the budget table. The budget is calculated, the quantities with the values, standard uncertainty, distribution, sensitivity coefficient, uncertainty contribution, and an uncertainty index. The value uh, of the unexpanded uncertainty is calculated based on the coverage factor given. In this case, you have selected a normal uh, coverage, but you have other choices like a uh, 95%, which is in this case the same. Eventually, you fill in the, uh, the way you want to present the uncertainty. It can be either absolute, relative, or relative in percent. This is a final value rounded to the figure, same figures as the expanded uncertainty. Once you have done this evaluation, you can do an additional Monte Carlo simulation. I did that by starting run Monte Carlo and that comes up as extreme where a Monte Carlo machine is running. It does two million runs and we can see nicely here the distribution and the 90 percent uh, coverage limits and uh, coverage intervals and uh, the mean value marked here and we see that the Monte Carlo run is basically the same as the standard run. Eventually when we finish with everything we can print a report with this shown here which contains all the data and all the calculations and the budget table and the Monte Carlo results.